Hello, we're here today at the Robert S. Peabody Museum in Andover with the director. And what's your name? I'm Ryan Wheeler. And today is June 20th, 2013. And there's this fabulous diorama that is um, on the staircase of the Peabody Museum. And Ryan's going to explain and tell us about it. Ryan, who, who painted this diorama? Uh, this was painted by Stuart Travis uh, in the late 1930s. Uh, he was an artist in residence uh, of sorts here at Phillips Academy. Um, earlier in his uh, career, uh, at the turn of the 19th century, he was uh, um, trained in France um, uh, in commercial and graphic arts and was uh, very sought after for uh, doing uh, advertising art, uh, magazine covers. His uh, uh, artwork uh, often appeared on the cover of things like Vogue magazine. Uh, he was noted for uh, painting uh, and drawing uh, beautiful women with beautiful hairstyles and clothing. And can you tell us some of the highlights of this diorama? I know um, you could probably go on for hours about people of, the original people of North America, but um, what is this Thunderbird symbol over the map? Well, um, the, the layout of um, many of the murals that uh, Stuart Travis did on campus have uh, a, this geographic theme. Um, and in this case, um, uh, this is no exception. So he's painted um, a map that shows the um, culture areas of um, of really sort of North and Middle America um, as they were uh, understood in, in 1938 by anthropologists and archeologists. And superimposed over the uh, map of North America is uh, the shadow of a, of a Thunderbird, which is a, uh, a symbol that appears um, you know, in a lot of, uh, of American Indian tribes. And tell us about the representative um, six people on top. Well, uh, these, uh, these depictions, um, in, in many cases, I think, are supposed to, to be sort of um, generic representations of people from different cultures. So he's, um, you know, illustrating what uh, anthropologists probably understood at the time of these different sort of um, ethnic and linguistic groups. Um, the image uh, of the Sioux um, individual there that's uh, from the Plains area is a very specific person. It's Jack Red Cloud, who was the uh, son of the famous uh, Sioux uh, uh, chief uh, and warrior Red Cloud. Uh, and in the collections of the museum, we have um, uh, an 1871 Ulysses S. Grant peace medal that was uh, personally presented by uh, President Grant to uh, Jack Red Cloud's father, uh, Red Cloud, and appears in a lot of the photographs of, uh, of actually both men. And as you go down the diorama, you see artifacts from different cultures, and um, we don't have time to point out all the great details here, but down at the very bottom here is one from Massachusetts. It's the um, Jesse Brewer pot. Um, that's correct. There actually are approximately 40 different artifacts that are represented in the, um, in the mural. Uh, interestingly, most of them are not pieces that are here in the Peabody Museum. Um, they were pieces that were, uh, and in many cases, continue to be very famous or well-known. For example, the, the raven hat um, that's over here in this part of the mural is... Um, is at the uh, uh, University of Pennsylvania Museum in Philadelphia, um, and it's, uh, it's one of their um, very iconic uh, artifacts. So the, most of the pieces that are in the mural are probably things that were in books uh, and that were very well known um, at, the, uh, at the time. Uh, as you mentioned, one of the uh, few pieces that actually is from Massachusetts is this um, um, pottery vessel, it was actually found um, around the time that Stuart Travis was painting the mural by um, uh, 
an avocational archaeologist, Jesse Brewer, who brought it here to the museum, uh, and it was um, in, in fragments. He'd recovered it from the Cape Cod Canal, uh, and um, it was glued back together by um, Douglas Byers and Frederick Johnson, who were the director and curator here at the time. Um, and it's got this very um, distinct ornamented rim uh, with little effigies of corn cobs. Um, it probably represents um, you know, a fairly uh, late vessel. And we did a little research and discovered that it is um, still uh, extant. It's at Plymouth Plantation and is, uh, is actually on exhibit there. Oh, that's very interesting. And also, um, there's a key to all the culture areas of native peoples. And um, there's also details about uh, Monk's Mound in Cahokia, etc. If you get a chance, um, is this exhibit open to the public? Can people visit? Um, people are welcome to, uh, to come and visit our museum, though we ask that uh, people call uh, to, uh, to check on uh, times and try to, uh, to schedule their visit because we do have lots of classes from Phillips Academy that are here. And so uh, we use our exhibit and gallery spaces for uh, teaching those classes. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. <laughs>